start um, our next block with Paula. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Yeah. Okay. I actually am from Spain. We speak really fast. If you think that you understand Spanish, I actually can go at the speed of light also because I'm an astronomer. So when a students are in my class, there's the information just comes at them like at such great speeds that at one point I was getting reviews as slow down this with my midterm evaluations. They are very nice. My students are really nice. A little bit. And it's like, no, I was going really fast when explaining concepts. Slow down with lecturing. Too fast to write notes. Yeah, of course. I'm, I think fast. I speak fast in both in Spanish and in English. It's just a mess. So my pace of teaching, only one group in the middle say a little slow, about right, seven said about right, but mostly they were like, this is too fast. So I had to come up with something that slowed down the pace a little bit and give the students some time to actually process the information, right? So what's a professor to do? I decided to ask them questions. And the problem is if I just teach something and then I say questions, blank, stare. So this is what I do. Imagine that I'm teaching you this part of the class, the third law of Kepler's law. Uh, more distant planets orbit the sun at a slower average speed of in the relationship. You will be able to write it down. I'm giving you the slides later. But you don't have time actually to process that information. So what I do is first write it in like plain English. This is what really happens. Objects in wider orbits take much long, longer to orbit. And then I show a little video. Still, you see, this is going too fast. You might be able to take a note. Maybe you're starting to think about it. But it still, it's not working. So I ask these questions. The students are starting to digest what's going on. So they actually don't have time to formulate a question yet. So what I do is actually ask them questions. You can use a clicker, or actually I use these things that have different colors. I have one of my students here, so actually he had used that before. Uh, so you just like send this, and then you show the color. Let's do it. First thing, what is your answer? I'm not going to give you this because I only have three minutes. But you can actually do it with your hand. Which one is the right answer? And a lot of you are puzzled. I still didn't have time to process, right? Well, the next thing that I do is hey, show you a video again, because you only have time to see it once. So these are the planets that are like close to the sun, and these are the planets that are far away from the sun. But still, you haven't had time to process. Let's discuss. So talk to the people around. Okay, so people are starting to give me answers which I will see in the case of, in reality, I'm not giving you enough time because we don't even have the time, it's just an example, right? But in reality, what I will do is actually walk around, listen to what you're saying, and also listen at the students talking. When they are done, it tends, the, the sound it tends to decrease. So I can actually calculate how much, I can see, I can hear how much time the students need to actually answer the question. And I actually change my classes based on that. So the right answer in this case could not be any of those two, <laughs> because in this case, the speed is increasing with that. It actually is this one here. That same thing that happened here happens in my classes. Even if I don't give points, it's not a clicker thing. It's just the ABCD. They have no repercussion whatsoever. The competitiveness of people <laughs> shows us, like, I want to get this right. I want to learn this. So in my, let's do another one. Let's see. Now it's a little bit more complicated. Now, planets away, farther away from the sun take longer to orbit because, and I'm asking you to reflect even longer of why it's going on. Let's start discussing. Go for it.
I have to cut you off, which I will never do in my class, because not only you were great at engaging and discussing, you also were meeting the people around you, which might become your study group of students or something. The right answer was C, if you wanted to know. That's actually the graph that it should be on how the planets are. Thanks for listening.